Denali National Park and Preserve rests in the heart of interior Alaska. Within its six million acres, Denali preserves a slice of Alaskan wilderness. It's a place of stunning, uncluttered vistas, where, on a clear day, a visitor can catch at least a glimpse of Mount McKinley, the highest peak in North America. It is also a place of rich and varied wildlife, where visitors can observe such animals as grizzly bears, caribou, moose, and doll sheep in their natural habitat. To say that humans alone have done the work in preserving the riches of this national park would not be telling the whole story. They have help from some four-legged friends. Denali National Park and Preserve is home of the only working sled dog kennel in the National Park Service. Over 40,000 visitors attend sled dog demonstrations each summer. Well, good afternoon, sir. Yeah, my name is Ingrid, and I'm a seasonal ranger here at Denali National Park, and I'd like to welcome you up here to our sled dog kennel. Sled dogs are a Denali tradition. They've been working here as long as rangers have. These sled dogs love to be scratched behind the ears and enjoy showing off a bit. But it's not until the winter, when most visitors have returned to warmer climes, that these dogs reveal their true mettle. The use of dogs as working animals is nothing new to the North Country. It is known that dogs traveled with early humans in Alaska long before recorded history. Some archaeologists believe domestic dogs could have helped early humans hunt seals and polar bears or help haul supplies. No one knows exactly when dogs were actually harnessed to pull sleds, but the first European explorers found this a common practice among Alaskan natives. For the miners and settlers who followed, it proved to be the most efficient means of winter travel in pioneer Alaska. The park's first rangers used sled dogs to patrol the park to protect the wildlife from poachers. After all, it's because of that wildlife that we have Denali National Park and Preserve. In 1980, the park's boundaries were expanded to six million acres, and the name changed from Mount McKinley National Park to Denali National Park and Preserve. The original two million acre park boundary was designated a wilderness area that allows no mechanized transportation in the winter months. The park is open, but no roads are plowed. Winter visitors must bring their own cross-country skis, snowshoes, or dog teams. These days, Denali sled dogs continue to serve a vital role in winter park operations. Though poaching is not the problem it once was, the dogs are invaluable in helping rangers keep a steady eye on the park's wildlife populations. Rangers continue to patrol the park boundaries, putting up wilderness boundary markers, reducing the chance hunters or trappers might unknowingly stray onto park lands. Boundary patrols also offer an excellent opportunity to keep in touch with park neighbors. There's no doubt that maintaining a presence in the park and good relationships with park neighbors can aid in deterring illegal hunting and trapping. As a complete protected ecosystem, Denali National Park has been recognized as an international biosphere reserve by the United Nations. Research projects go on in the park year-round as scientists seek to better understand the natural world. In winter, the kennel staff helps out by taking researchers into the park to collect data or track wildlife. 
for the dogs, what better reason to harness up?